Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I want to talk to you about the coolest thing about Gutenberg. As a longtime blogger, I've been blogging since 2010, and um, I didn't want to change to Gutenberg. Like, the idea of having to learn to, to blog all over again um, just was not attractive to me. <laughs> and so, but when I started hearing about things you could do with Gutenberg, with reusable blocks, that's when I was like, okay, you need to suck it up and learn how to do this because the reusable block feature makes all the other pain and struggles easier. So here, I just want to show you something. The very first one that I think is amazing is to do your FTC disclosure in a block, okay? And then you make it a reusable block. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually Remove this block. So I have it saved already. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit forward slash and then it shows because I put it in every blog post. It shows up as FTC disclosure. So if I started typing it, if it didn't show up, I would say put this in. OK, and this says I often re recommend resources. Check out my policies here. And I have this on tons of um, blog posts, right? Say the FTC, um, and we're going to save this draft and put it in there. Say the FTC somewhere down the line decides that they don't want uh, it to say here. They want to say, check out my policies, right? So before, I would have had to have gone back into every single one of those posts and changed it individually. But because I use a plugin called Ultimate, Ultimate, Add-ons for Gutenberg, okay, it's a free plugin. Ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg, you want to get that, and I have a link up to that below. But then what happens is they have, you go to UAG, and they have a list of your reusable blocks, right? So say, remember we, we were saying that they, uh, if they change out this to say policies has to be linked instead of here, we're going to say edit. I'm going to get my policies, right? I'm going to delete this. I'm going to remove that, right? And then they want policies linked. And, you know, it's just an example, but I have had things, honestly, that have, um, like, have taken me so much time going into every blog post I own. Um, but so you can say open this in a new tab, and then you want to say up like this, new tab, right? Update. Then we go back to our post. And it changed it, and it'll change it in every block you have. So one of the things that I have seen that bloggers hate is a lot of the plugins or a lot of the things where you have to hard code your, um, your FTC disclosure. Because their theme pulls the first paragraph, a lot of times it'll pull the FTC disclosure. And this way is a really nice way to, um, to avoid that. Okay, another reusable um, link is this is cool. So we're going to say, I just want to do a um, block. So sometimes it's a little funky to get one. So I want one. And I'm going to say, I want to put in my banner for an affiliate link. Now this looks terrible, right? Like this looks really funky, but when you preview it, it's only as wide as my theme allows, right? So I can just put a getting started on Etsy link on from my share of sale, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, so don't freak out. Okay, perfect, yay. And then that will be an affiliate link for me, an affiliate click for me. Okay, so the way that you do this, we're going to delete this block, move block. Okay, so we're going to go like this. You hit forward slash, and I would say custom HTML. I would come to share a sale. I would find my banner. I would get a little bit of code. Share sale is awesome. They have beautiful banners. And then I would paste that into there. And then if I wanted to see it, I could just switch it over to here and see it looks funny but it's constrained by the, the theme. 
And then I would say save draft and then preview, right? So that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I need to make it a reusable block, right? So the way you would do that is you would click on this, you would say add to reusable blocks. And so I would name this maybe creative live You could name all of them affiliates within there. And then when you did forward slash and started typing affiliate, it would bring up all your affiliates. Um, so you can do that. So let's say we do this save and we delete this, remove block, and now we want to put it back in, right? We would just say forward slash affiliate and there it is, right? And you would be able to, and bada bing, you're in, save draft, preview, Works like a charm. Yay. Okay. All right. So that was number two. That was affiliate links. Now let's go to number three. Ooh, an email sign up block. This is this is really cool because in some of so I have three different target niches. And I know some of you may have that too. And I don't want to have like a sign up for Etsy people in a realtor post or a sign up for you know authors in whatever so uh, i may want to do a custom sign up for say a vintage ebook or a, a portion of my newsletter list in each post and so i can totally do that so I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i need custom html right so this is just like going over to the text tab so i need custom html i would come into convert kit and i would get my form so i have my form i'm going to say a bed so convert kit is my email subscriber so yours may be um constant contact yours may be mailchimp yours may be I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that are cooler click funnels there's a ton of them okay and so now if you look it'll put this in there just like you do and then we're going to say save draft and then say preview Join my newsletter, okay, join my newsletter. And then don't forget, you would say little dots, add to reusable blocks, uh, newsletter. Sign up. If I could type, I would be unstoppable. And then that will be a block we can remove that block we can say this we can say oh it didn't come up enough oops and then we could just put it in any blog post we want um so to me that's a really cool one okay we're going to delete this because i got a lot of pictures of my face and it's going to get confusing all right, Terra author block. So a lot of times you would like to have an author block at the bottom of your post. And this one is, you know, this may not be what you want. You may want one where you have your image first. Um, you know, you have your image first and then you have a little block, a caption with, you know, Terra is great right as your author bio at the bottom but um but you know more often than not it kind of looks like this and you may have multiple authors on your blog you may have different contributors and all you would do is you would format this with a there's a block that's a picture with text beside it and you could do this and then it'll show up like this. And then you can put that at the bottom of the posts of the people who are doing it. So say I have a, a contributor every once in a while named Suzanne. I could make a Suzanne author block and I would put mine on the bottom of them. And the reason why, you know, a lot of times before we were having things hard coded into our themes, we needed a developer to do it. Um, you know, all of that. So if I name this Tara author block, right? And I'm typing away, I'm getting to the end, you know, the end of my post. 
and before it would take so much time to do something or to cut and paste or I would have it saved in Dropbox or I would have the code saved on I have all these I have all these sticky notes with things um, my FTC disclosures were in there where I would just copy and paste and so um, now I could just say Tara and then I would Tara's author block in or I would do um, I would do Suzanne's, however we did it. Oh, I took the stuff out of it, sorry, um, before we saved it. Okay, I want to put this in here. Oops. Oh, this is good. So I want to not lose this. And if I want to change this to a heading instead of a paragraph, sorry about the snorting. I just woke up my beagle. <laughs> he was napping. Okay, so this is a fun one, ask for a social media follow. So like at the bottom of each of yours, you may like to do um, like a follow me on Instagram or a follow me on Pinterest or something like that. Um, so you would do, find a little banner you like, right, obviously, and then you would get your link. So all I did here, remove block ad block, a picture, media library, right? It just works like normal, just like normal. All right, I'm in the way. I'm going to say select. Now, this is a good little tip. This has not as much to do with, uh, you know, reusable blocks. But what I was doing was I was coming in here and I was editing um, the HTML or I was editing, you know, the image in here. That didn't work. You have to edit it over here where it says block. So let me tell you real quick about this little section. So um, this is for your whole document if you're looking at everything. And then this is for if you're just looking at this block. So you could put your Pinterest text here um, and then you could... Uh, because I have Tasty Pins and Social Pug, which I probably should close that up so I don't see it every time. But um, but so you can put like actual your Pinterest text here, your hashtags, things like that. But for this one, because it's just you know, it's just uh, it's just a little follow button. I don't want them pinning that. I would just say follow me on Pinterest or Instagram. All right. So, so we can really use the alt text the way it's supposed to be and use any of our um, plugins that we always use. And then we would just say add to reusable blocks, um, follow on Instagram, whatever. Um, so that would be very cool. All right. Follow me on Instagram. All right. Now, don't forget, say you get done with this and you're like, oh, I want that centered. If you edit this one only, it's only going to get edit this one. If you want to center it on everyone, you would go back over to settings. You would go back over to settings, UAG. Reusable blocks, follow me on Instagram, update, and then when we go back into our post, it should go back to show it in the middle, hopefully. Now nah, I must have messed something up. Um, functionally, what I have found is, um, is honestly, and this works the very same way as my, um, if you're doing recipe plugin, if you're using create, if you're doing anything like that, the very best way for me to do it is rather than doing it in the post is to go to the reusable blocks, make something, and then just add it to a post, but that's okay. All right. So here's a cool one that I stole from a lady. Um, I didn't steal from it, her, her, it from her. I asked her if she minded if I used it, but it is a really cool pin it for later. Oops, I need an image. It 
is I have a little pin it for later button that I put on here. So all my great photography posts, right? So I'm going to select this. So pin this post to save it for later. Now, this seems like it would be a really bad idea, right? Because if I make this a reusable pin, then it would be, and I changed it, it would change it on all the posts, right? So what I do with this is I actually go and I get the category of that and I use that as my um see it says and follow me on Pinterest pin this post to save it for later and follow me on Pinterest for more great photography tips and ideas so I'm not lying to them I'm just saying that I am going to um send them to Pinterest right and on here now we do need to add oops sorry remember we don't want to do it in here we want to do it over here so we're going to say link to custom URL we're going to say go to Pinterest. It doesn't have to be, we're going to say open in a new tab. Does not have to be a nofollow link. It's find a link to Pinterest. Um, I would, I would see pin this for later. It's just pulling the alt text in that picture, which is fine. Um, I would probably disable pinning on this one. Because so many people pin this to their Pinterest board rather than pinning. Because what I want this pin to do, right, so here, watch preview is I want this pin which I probably will have pinned just recently to go to oops I went to the wrong place I'm so sorry I wanted to go to my Pinterest board about uh, photography right so I have a product photography board on Pinterest and I want them to go to Pinterest sorry about that so it's usually, there we go. So we would put this link in right here. There you go. And it kind of refreshes itself. It didn't used to do that. And so now it'll go to Pinterest with all my product photography. Um, and they could go find that. Functionally, I want them honestly to follow this board or to follow me and all my pictures or to repin all my pictures. Um, I want them to, I just want them to love me. All right, so the last one, this is kind of fun and a little bit tricky. Okay, so if you are an e-commerce or you have sales or you have, oh, 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 this is perfect. So I don't do a lot of, um, open closed cart affiliates like I just I can't manage it I don't have the time it makes me tired I don't want to have to go change out banners and things like that all over but what you could do with this is if you have a block in your posts right that is your say your you think of it as your weekly sale block you wouldn't name it your weekly sale block it would just be a weekly sale block. So for Valentine's Day, you could put Valentine's. For um, another sale, you could change it out. And so because this is a reusable block, okay, I have this saved. So if you see this, this is Valentine's Day. We would have it all set up the way it's supposed to be with a, um, a link to, say, share a sale. was having a... Um, a really good Valentine's Day sale this week but then and so this this block would be in multiple blog posts right all kinds maybe my most popular blog posts like my top 10 blog posts so now I want to change it out because it's not Valentine's Day anymore but I don't want to have to go to 10 blog posts right so you would come down here to your settings you would go to your UAG you would go to your reusable blocks this is amazing. And you would say weekly sale block. It's just the name of it in the blocks, right? Okay, so we're going to say we want to change this out. And we want to change it to our spring sale. And we want it to go to, oh, so that's the link to the page. 
and we want it to go, oh, we want it to go to our spring sale page. So I'm just picking a URL, right? And you want it to go to a different, oh, okay, so we go here, right, because we have to edit it over here. And then we would change out the link to a different custom URL, right? So that's going to go, oh, let's go to a share a sale place, right? So we're going to do this. We're going to come over here. We're going to put this here. We're going to say open in a new tab. We're going to say update the block, right? Because we're in the block. Now we go back to our post. And it would change it across all of the blog posts that you had that weekly sale block in. And to me, that is that is a way that I could actually participate in the open close carts. I could have just some normal um, normal posts, you know, normal things that I could switch out to promote if there wasn't an open cart sale on or a closed cart sale on. Or if I was having my own sale, I would put put my sale on there. But to me, that is such an interesting thing. And that's a way that you can use these reusable blocks in a way that you might not have thought of before. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.